This is Ian Gambina from Burning Hash, and I'm just going to go over how we put this album together. Uh, this is my first time mixing and producing a full album. I've done a number of demos and stuff like that in the past, but this time around I've learned a lot of things about making an album. Our good friend uh, John Stanovich let us record the drums over in his music room. Uh, he let us use his drum set. We used his mixer and my mixer, and uh, he kind of was present for the for the drum tracking. Isolated the snare, put it on its own track so it could have reverb and different uh, EQ options and the rest of like the toms and cymbals. And then with the kick, we used a, an Alesis DM5 trigger module. Um, and that's actually the only kick sound that you're hearing. There is no kick drum. We did not mic the kick drum. We just, we just used the trigger signal and then with a lot of extreme EQing and various compression and basically just heavy editing, I kind of gave it its punch and bass that you feel as if you're still kind of hearing a kick drum. For the guitars I used a number of different techniques and methods. I started with miking the cab and then I went direct. But uh, with the miking the cab methods, I used a sure SM57 and an SM58 on different angles and axes with the cab. Out of all the ideas and all the things that I tried, what I ended up sticking with and using was the 11 rack for all the preamp and effects alongside with a uh, Pod HD Pro X preamp and effects processor. I used two Ibanez RG7321 7 strings, um, even though the album was predominantly done with just one of those. A lot of the clean channel stuff and a lot of the effects I used was the 11 rack with a quadriverb and the effects loop to get those spacey reverbs. I used Mixcraft for the recording DAW for the album, and I used a, a number of different effects in that, and 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 kind of blended some of the effects with the with whether it be the quadriverb or the eleven rack. For the bass, we did the same thing. I tried different things with the bass amp running different pedals in front of the amp to kind of get a different uh, tone and shape the tone a little bit. But uh, what I ended up doing was dialing up a pretty fat and heavy bass tone with the 11 rack. So the 11 rack did most of the guitars on the album. A lot of the sampling and synth stuff was done with a GR, uh, Roland GR33 guitar synth and a Roland GR55 guitar synth. Um, there was a lot of tones that I had already used with the 33, but then I uh, acquired a 55 and uh, used that for a number of tones as well. There's a lot of samples used. I put together a lot of sounds and samples and layers, whether it be with something that Mixcraft had that I could change the pitch and adjust how it sounds and do stuff like that, or my guitar synths or just layering stuff. After that, we load it onto my Boss RC300 and then run that into the PA, whether it be the house PA or RPA, and until we play live. For me, 
the album does uh, a few things. Um, it kind of consolidates uh, a lot of ideas and influences and unused material um, from the past that we have been wanting to use for a few years at least now. Um, stuff that we've had since before we even actually did the first album, but we just didn't quite get around to using it. Um, another thing is it, it kind of opens doors. So if we wanted to do like another album, like a cover album, or whether it be a more progressive album or a video game themed album, um, I wouldn't have the ability to record those albums having not learned what I learned on this one. The writing process for this album was a little scattered. Um, there, there's just a, a really good hybrid of old and new going on here. We would get together just about every Saturday and then uh, we would just jam and record it and then we'd pick out the parts that we liked later on. Just kind of fuse them with the existing material that we had for a while before that. I think for us and for me, um, it's really hard to capture all of our influences and material, just stuff, in one album. Um, that we're just kind of reaching for everything with it. We're, we're just going in all directions, trying to just capture what we can. And I don't think that one album for us can really get it all and put it into an album format. Uh, we need like two albums or three to get it all. I think we've just grown as musicians and songwriters. So you, you can expect a, a whole new Burning Hash, but still the, the same Burning Hash as we always were. <laughs> <laughs>